That's crazy. You know, I got a strong question I want to ask you now, Red. You know, and I don't want this to come off as policey, but I am going to ask you this question. You know, I kind of heard through the grapevine that you had an incident with O.D. Perry before. Oh, yeah, that was like way 2000 and the early 2000s, that was like 2004, 2005 type of shit. Mm -hmm. So what happened was it was a YMCA on 111th and State. Anybody from Chicago knows a YMCA. Well, it's not a YMCA right now, it's a youth center. Okay. But back then it was a YMCA. So we was we went in there to hoop and they was already hooping. They was on the court, him and a couple other guys. O.D. Perry. Yeah, so mm -hmm. they lost. And they had to get out the building. Well, they didn't have to get out the building, but they had to get off the court. And they were refusing to get off the court to let us on the court. So they put their ass out the building. So we get on the court. We get our ass whooped too. So we <laughs> so then we going out the building. So I'm walking out the building talking cash shit. Because right. I'm like, yeah, them niggas wasn't on shit. Little do I know this nigga Odie is hiding behind the stairs on the um uh, so when you walk out the wire, it's like four stairs but there's no side rails. So he's ducked behind these stairs. So okay. as soon as I get to the second stair, he crunched me right in the back of my shit. Bow! What? So I fake fall, boom, I'm swinging wild. My boy Danny jump off the top of the goddamn stairs. He's swinging at the other nigga right there. So me, me and O.D., we fight all the way from the Y to the park. Like, it's the gate right there. Right. The police come break it up. They pick his ass up, trying to get him away from the fight. This nigga kick him. Kicking, yeah. still trying to fight. So shit, I ain't see him no more after that. To probably like, probably like a year later. Oh, so you seen him again? Yeah, I seen. That's how I realized who he was. I seen him again. He was at another park with a nigga named Mac. He was hooping, and he was pointing me out to the nigga he was with. Like, yeah, that's the nigga. Who he, and the dude that he was with was a older cat. Right. And the older, that's happened to be my little daddy, my little brother's daddy. And he was like, um, you went to him. And he's like, no, nah, y'all can't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's my son's brother. Whoop the whoop, whoop the whoop, and kind of pieced it up. Right. But yeah, that's the only, them the only two encounters I ever had with him in real physical life. And then when he fucking ended up dying, apparently. That's crazy. He said he snaked you, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he got a good one. And I was walking down them stairs, and he, I wasn't even, but I was talking so much shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking out talking so much shit, and I just, I, I just feel. Right in the back of my shit, you know, you fall, you try to swing, I'm throwing this wild ass punch, my boy jumping off the step, and my little cousin, them, they ran and left us in up that fight, but they was little kids, though. So, Odie did have a name, though, before yeah, he passed. Yeah, yeah most definitely. He, he was a fucking terrorist. He, he was a bully before he passed. Yeah. So, the, the think about that. That's some bully shit. Like, you mad because you got to get off the basketball court. You just lost. It's these niggas' turn, but you want to fight because your motherfucking ass got to get off the court. I put hands and feet on his ass, though. That's crazy. Shout out O.D., though. Yeah, that's wild. You know, I, I, I've been listening to your music and things like that. Another question I forgot to ask, and I think I might have heard it in your music. Now, I don't want to instigate none, but when we did our last interview, I looked in the comment section, and it said I didn't ask you about 